Hey guys, what's up? Matt Bloyd here. I am at Create Music Group. We're going to do a little Q&A, get to know more about me. So get into it. Come on in, sit down, get a Diet Coke. We love Diet Coke, yes. Uh, the song I did with Christy Metz called Anything Worth Holding On To was written by Scott Allen, who I'm a huge fan of and was so honored to work with, uh, both on this song and on Kiss the Air. Um, and that song, when I first heard it, just I, I felt the words, I felt what it was saying and resonated with so many lines that Scott put in there. Um, he wrote the song from a really dark place, um, speaking on suicide. And um, when I heard the song, I was you know, going through a, a low point in my life as well. So when the opportunity came to cover it, I was like overjoyed to, to kind of jump into that and jump into that emotion. And I think we did a good job. For me, the biggest challenge of being on the floor was like the competition part of it. Like everybody behind the scenes and all the people that went out there, all the contestants, everyone was so amazing. And we all became friends behind the scenes. And they would be like, aren't you ready to go out there and eat and vocal gladiators and all this stuff. And I was like, I'm just gonna go sing. And everyone's so good. So I had a hard time with that. Um, Cause that's just, I don't know, it didn't feel like very me to be like, I'm gonna kill everyone inside. So I think, I feel like that was the hardest part for me. My favorite song to cover, that's a hard one. I love every song I've put online that I've had the opportunity to sing, um, and put my own little spin on, but I have to say any Whitney Houston song I've done, um, I Have Nothing, um, All the Man I Need. I just love her so much and I've loved her since day one. And so anytime I get to sing her songs, I'm like happy. How Will I Know, which I did on before. Um, I just love her music and love any opportunity to sing it. When weakness is stronger, I've always known that I wanted to do music uh, for a living and have it in some part have it be some part of my life um, and I wasn't sure for a long time what that was going to look like I um, went into college and struggled with do I want to pursue music do I do I want to make this a career am I good enough to make this a career and I I just decided one day it's either now or never and I'm just going to pursue this because this has always been a nagging on my heart and I've never looked back since I, need to find out I feel like the biggest takeaway that I've that I've learned um in being in this for a couple years um, is truly how to support other people. You know, in LA, there's so many singers and there's so many people who do what I do and do it much better. And most of them are my friends. And uh, I've learned over the last couple years that somebody else's success doesn't hinder mine, just like my success doesn't hinder somebody else and that there is room for all of us to succeed. And I just want that to be more of a concept in the, in the business that if one of us ascends, we all ascend. Because um, again, my community is small and most of them are singers. A lot of them I've had on my YouTube channel. Um, and that's just something that's been on my heart recently, even this past year, um, which has been a crazy year of, of highs and lows. But that at the end of the day, everybody can have success and how to like love and support each other in a business that's really tough, that's, that's superficial, that's so discouraging. Um, Cause I, you know, I want to say something like, don't give up and persevere. That's what I've learned. But I think it's that and, and learning how to persevere and support and, and nourish a community around you. <laughs> I do have plans to release a follow-up project to Dying to Survive. It's been a long road um, writing and getting into that flow because I was scared to release original music for a second, I don't, I don't know why. But I have finally put the finishing touches on my second album and I'm so excited. We went to New York and Nashville, wrote here in LA obviously too, and finally have a project that I'm really, really happy with that um, I'm so excited for the world to hear and it's coming in early 2019, so stay on the lookout. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned a little bit more about me. Head on over now to my channel to watch some covers, get some music going, get you in the mood, all that jazz. Bye guys. Worth holding.